Hey guys, so we are in the triage right now. Um, this is where the doctor sent us to the hospital. Uh, so I'm gonna try to sneak as much footage as possible in here. We're gonna check out her cervix area, I believe, or something like that. See if it's too thin or if we need to take some extra steps. Uh, so the doctor said this would take about a hour and a half, two hours. Um, so we are here hoping for the best. Wish us luck. Hey babe. What you got that face for? <laughs> what you laying on? Is this a pee pad? Is this like waterproof pad? I have no idea. Well, I didn't foresee this being the case. That we'd be in a hospital. I ain't think I think this is the triage room where you would monitor. Yeah, they said we was in triage. Hello. Hi there guys. Hello. Hi. My name is Becca. I'm going to be your nurse here in triage. Okay. Dr. Minton called. He kind of gave me a brief report mm -hmm. of, of what was going on. Have you been having some abdominal cramping? Yeah. Quick question. Before yeah, I ask one. Is there a way to lift this up? So yes, absolutely, <laughs> my dear. Yes. <laughs> yes. How's that, baby? Yeah. That's well, better. Yeah. Yeah, so I have been having abdominal pain and even like pains in my vagina. Okay. And I'm like, I don't know why. Sometimes it's worse. Like, even when I got a in my mm -hmm. blood floor, it hurts. Gotcha. And I don't know why. So I went there two weeks ago about so they do the transvaginal ultrasound? Yeah. The inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she, when she pushed on my stomach, I could see my cervix opening and closing. Okay. Or whatever. It looked like stuff was pouring and it looked like the baby's head was right there. Mm -hmm. I feel like anytime I do too much, it hurts really bad. It hurts more. Yeah. Okay. Or it looks like I'm even grocery shopping and active. Yeah. It's like, I gotta sit down. Is there more pressure down below? Kind of like, Get to poop or just more. No, it's it's literally like this whole area okay. and part of my vagina. Never like the blood or anything like okay. that. But I do be having random spasms. I think that's normal. Yes. So that's yeah. normal. <laughs> yes. But yeah, no, but everything else and it's like almost continuous. No bleeding? No, not recently. Okay. Uh when did the cramping start? It's been over a month. Okay. And then in the last two and a half weeks. I'm gonna say at this point, two and a half, three weeks, it's been at its worst. Okay. Have you had intercourse in the last 24 hours? No. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, no. <laughs> you may have to, may have to keep it from him a little bit longer. <laughs> that's what they told us the, the other yes. time. Yeah. Yeah. I keep telling you, it's not me God. that's rejecting you. No, I know, it's that silly pelvic rest. Yeah. But it's important we don't want it because you're cramping and because the cervix will open with the pressure, we want we want anything in there because mm -hmm. it can stir something up and then make you start having those real contractions. Yeah. So is it I hate the word impossible, but that's what I'm hearing. Is it impossible to have contractions early? No, it's not impossible to have them early. It, and it, for some girls, they can contract as early, from what I've seen, as early as like 16 weeks, and they'll contract the whole pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Our concern is, are you making cervical change? We don't want that cervix getting shorter. We don't want it opening mm -hmm. um, until you're at least the 37 weeks. The closer we can get you to 40, 41, the better. So the baby shouldn't be near the cervix right now. Sometimes they are. Sometimes they'll be there kicking it, head against it. Like okay. Sometimes the baby being down there kicking and whatnot doesn't have anything to do with as far as inducing the labor process. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes infection can cause you to contract um, dehydration, sex. Um, sometimes um, some girls will have incompetent cervixes where their body just kind of starts to dilate. And it's like, oh, there's something in here. Let's have a baby. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's kind of like they have to do just multiple tests and, and kind of see, uh, take one step at a time. Like, okay, it could be dehydration. Let's give you fluids, which we're going to start there first, okay. step one. Um, do it. We're going to do a couple tests here. One is called an Affirm. We're going to test for yeast infection, bacterial vaginosis, and trichomonas. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes two hours to come back, so do peer review with me for a good two, three hours. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. If anything positive, we can be like, oh, okay, she's probably cramping because she's got a yeast infection. Let's mm -hmm. treat it with um, a medication. 
and hopefully that should not get out. So ultimately, at this point, the service should be hard and closed. It should be long and closed, yes. Long and closed. Long and closed. So the funneling that he's saying, I, I haven't been able to see those sonograms, so I can't tell you where the funneling's happening. So I don't know if it's the inside of the cervix is kind of funneling, or if it's the outside of the cervix. Mm -hmm. Is one better than the other? I personally don't know. That would be a question for the doctor. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but we're there are sono tests that partners are very good. But just so we can have a little bit of a baseline for us too. But it shouldn't be a case where she's pushing my stomach and my cervix. It shouldn't be. Okay. No, 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 no. You said she. <laughs> No, I was talking about the sonographer. Oh, uh, I thought you were talking about the baby. Uh, I don't know what the <laughs> with with the abdominal pressure, it shouldn't get shortened. I don't know what to think until we get some answers. Have you had any surgeries in the past, baby? The DNC. DNC. What year was that in? This year. This year? January 5th. Was that from a miscarriage moment? Mm, well, that was for... To try polyps. to get pregnant? Polyps. No miscarriages or abortions in the past? Yes. Uh, what year? Miscarriage. And what year, sweetheart? Um, 16. How far along were you going? Don't know. It was early though? Yeah. And you didn't require DNC? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Not for that, no. Um, any medical history when you're not pregnant, like asthma, any of your heart, lungs, kidneys, seizures? Yes, yeah, blueberry allergies. Blueberry. Oh, girl, what happens when you blueberries? My throat closes. Oh my gosh. That's such it a It gets hard to breathe. <laughs> I can't even be around the smell. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, no blueberries for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, not potent. She's over here talking about like situations over here. You're like blueberry <laughs> allergies. <Hey. laughs> That's literally. I'm trying to trying to mention it everywhere. Like, yeah, he's, he's like looking out for it. We always run into a situation. That's <laughs> what we are intending on bringing up over here. Like, <laughs> Let's make sure everybody knows from the beginning. Have you had the flu shot this season, darling? Just yeah. got it. The flu shot? Have you had just it? got it? Okay, good girl. You had it in the office today? Yeah. Good. It wasn't that bad, right? Not this season. It's gonna lift your gown up here, sweetheart. This monitor here is gonna see if you're having any contractions. Sorry. It's, no, you're fine, baby. Just lift up that booty. There you go. Oh, cool. Perfect. Um, it may be a little difficult to get at 19 weeks, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna have it a little bit tight on the okay. belly. I'm so sorry. And what it's doing is trying to see if you're having any contractions or if the uterus is thinking about contracting. We call it irritability, where it kind of does like a flutter mm -hmm. on the top. Um, do you, what do you do for work, honey? Are you on the feet a lot of work? She's on disability right now. Okay. Okay, good answer. <laughs> She's not talking to you. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to help. I'm just helping you out. Okay, helping you out. I'm just saying. <laughs> I was over here trying to process how to answer this. She yeah. asked the question of how my work is. She didn't say whether I'm working yeah, or not. I, I got you, though. <laughs> He's fun that room. Right? Oh, you, <laughs> you were trouble with this baby, let me tell you. <laughs> He's anything like his daddy. Oh, hey, I know. I'm here, I might as well talk. We got a baby that is moving around a lot. So. Oh, are you feeling the baby move? We no. just saw it on the on the, on the sonogram. Sono? Yeah. Oh, I think it's because I just found I had an anterior placenta. Oh, yeah, I I'm 23 weeks pregnant and I just started. Are the you? Baby yes. Oh, congratulations! Oh, thank you, darling. Is it anterior? Yeah, it's anterior placenta, and I had the bleeds too. I really? had the bleeds since five weeks. We're just giving you um, lactated ringers for the IV for now to help with hydration. It's just a fancy word for Gatorade, pretty much. You put in Gatorade in my veins? Yeah, yeah. It's not like the exact area, like no lime or fruit punch, but yeah. <laughs> it's like, um, uh, like kind of like an electrolyte rebalance. Yep, I have it hooked on oh, hook back there. I just know. <laughs> That's to help hydrate? Yes. Yeah. Should she, be, should she be drinking more water? You can never drink enough. At least, What's the question? At least one. Cause Cause an hour, like one eight ounce cup an hour. We have to drink more when we're pregnant. I get sick when I drink water. About like I drink a lot of liquids though. Like what? Coke? Juice. Juice. That's not good. No. I know it's not good, but it's something. To, can juice hydrate you? What about putting like crystallite in it? We have crystallite. Yeah. But she doesn't use it. You don't know what. <laughs> I know exactly what you I don't know, I believe it. I gotta go buy the juice, so I don't. You don't know what I do. 
Okay, I attempted it, all right. It was cool. I'll work on it. Okay, deal. <laughs> Do it for the baby. That's right. Don't bring the baby into this. <laughs> we are not talking about that, we talking about me. Do it for both of y'all. You don't have a purpose right now. Mm -hmm. He's here for emotional support. <laughs> emotional support. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what is it, like the animals? <laughs> well, he's my support dog. I'm gonna leave you back here, okay? I'll pick you back up though once I'm done with the test, I promise. Right. Okay. Oh, what's happening now? Oh, yeah, I know. I thought it was gonna like, wait a little bit. No. <laughs> you bring those legs up for me. I'll keep you covered on this side. And kind of butterfly open for okay. me there, mama. Like like, yeah, perfect. Don't look at her, look at my vagina, okay? I'm looking at your face. I said, don't look at her, look at my vagina. Okay. I'm looking at you. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we're going to have to do a little bit of to y'all directly i feel a little foggy there we go who would have thought actually like what has it been a week or so since we've been here since out from the tour yeah about two three weeks something like that who would have thought we'll be back again back again <laughs> i think they was like y'all want to talk shit <laughs> y'all about to be right back on we're gonna show you y'all need us i know y'all need us <laughs> so like he was telling you guys earlier there's some things going on with my body and it's not the baby this time it's me so um we're just gonna be optimistic until we have no reason to i go in between my feelings of feeling okay and then i have slight moments where i feel sad but i'm just trying to keep it pushing because it ain't gonna help me being upset right now when I don't know anything. So ultimately is what's the next move. So at least now I know this way we were gonna actually get answers and not like push me off. Either way, even if today is okay, I know that there's a reason for my pain. We're one step closer to finding out that reason. The doctor's supposed to come in really soon to go over my ultrasound and I have the little monitor on my belly. Hold on. The little belly monitor. And I've been here for about, what, an hour? We've been here since six o'clock and it's 7.30, about an hour and a half. So we've been here about an hour and a half. I peed like three times and I gotta pee again. At this point, I need a catheter. We're sitting here watching TV. We're watching Steve Harvey. It's a small room, but it's not as small as I have seen some triage. So this is the same room we'll sit in and monitor the baby's heartbeat for like an hour. I think they usually do like an hour or two each time you're here. And then you leave and you do that once a week, I think. Something like that, I don't know. But yeah, as soon as we got more updates, we will let you guys know. Hope for the best and expect the worst. Let's see you guys.